same ones responsible for control of emotion. When you can control your appetite and your sexual desire, you can control your emotions. Now you can start to become a master of yourself. And this was the whole goal. Everybody got to learn to master the self. We all got to learn the same lessons and then, you know, each got to help others along the way. They're going to get stuck. It's supposed to be hard to learn the lessons. Nobody was supposed to give you the instructions why they can be used against you. So they had to be hidden from you in plain sight. They told you that everything you was was the devil. You know, voodoo was evil. They scared this death of the voodoo, but it's evil. And they the ones using the church to keep you in slavery, mentally and physically. But you're not seeing it because you're scared of voodoo. You're scared of something called a witch doctor. you thinking that the witch doctor going to come through and poke a needle in a goddamn doll and kill your motherfucking ass. Well, shit, if you thought that shit, you should have been getting into the voodoo to get from under the oppression. Now, we've seen some things I want to touch on, too. The Obey ceremony in Jamaica has taken place uh, yesterday. When Obey called, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. They couldn't do the ritual for the ones over here on the mainland. They've been waiting a long time, ever since Tucson, to be able to do that ritual for the people over here on the mainland to overthrow this motherfucking tyranny. Just like they did Napoleon's army. But what y'all not getting is they couldn't do it because there was no masters over here ready to receive the pass when they throw this Hail Mary. There wasn't no masters available. So they would have been just giving all of y'all shit to the enemy. So they couldn't even get their own shit. And they had to suffer over there in Haiti and live in squalor, poverty, and oppression from the external. But they couldn't go in there and put them back in bondage servitude. The rebellious ass island niggas ain't buying that shit. They die first. So we got examples of what the islands do to get free. We got Tucson the Overture. We got the Haitian Revolution, the Jamaican Revolution. We got, more recently, we got Maurice Bishop in the Granada Revolution when um, George uh, Herbert Walker sent his assassins down there to kill that brother. Like, we don't know what the fuck happened. Like, they wasn't keeping record of the dirt they was doing. This is the part people don't get. All of this shit is recorded. This is not conjecture. They recorded who they sent, how much they paid them. What the orders was given, who gave the order, if the president agreed, disagreed, signed off on it, or if the uh, rest of the motherfucking, um, what they call the motherfuckers, the security council, overrode his motherfucking sponsor, sent the motherfucking hit, because they say that they would have stopped the bigger war in the end. All that was some bullshit to keep y'all motherfuckers from seeing what it looked like when niggas get free. You don't want y'all to even have that idea of freedom in your motherfucking mind. So if any nigga get to talking that freedom shit, you are automatically hardwired to think that nigga crazy. What's going on, Desiree? They teach you that the one that talk out against the system is a rabble rouser. He a rebellious nigga. He the kind of nigga that's going to get everybody killed. No, that's a damn fool going to get everybody killed. A real motherfucker not going to send his soldiers to the motherfucking gallows like that. That's just not, that's not no real general shit. The real general is going to follow the art of war. He's going to follow the code of war to the letter because he know if he follow the code, he got to come out on top. Know yourself, know your enemy, and victory is assured. It's better to win one battle, one war by strategy than a thousand by combat. It's better that I beat one man in a fist fight to take a whole nation to war and bring us all to ruin. You got to understand these concepts because then you understand why the long route was taken. Because this shit didn't got bad before, but y'all stuck on right now and what y'all going through right now. This is nothing. The psychological oppression is worse than anything else. It's the trapping the mind into a small area and the mind can't be free. 
So it puts you in a fucked up psychological state. You know, so it is what it is. So you got to learn to use the earth to ground your energy. By grounding your energy, you are allowing your body an uh, assistant, a personal assistant. Because the earth can calibrate your health and tell what's wrong and how to help you to adjust and get it right. And that's why they stopped us from sleeping on the ground and gave us beds, in case y'all didn't know. And a lot of people still don't want to sleep on no bed, you know. And, um, you sit here, you know, you got some of these motherfuckers that think that if you pretend to be holy, that'll make you righteous, but it don't work that way. You can't condemn everybody for being stuck in a journey of life because you didn't get stuck or because you got unstuck. Everybody does not have the same strength in the same area. What was easy for you is difficult for somebody else. And that same person that is difficult for has something that's easy for them that's difficult for you. That's called aspecting the psyche of the human. If you don't have aspects, we all become cookie cutters. We become run-of-the-mill, same thing, born redundant, bored, everybody think the same, look the same, act the same. But by having different abilities in different areas by different degrees of it, and then you being able to find the ability that you want to enhance and exercise it, they don't tell you that you can learn to train your psychic abilities like you can your physical abilities. They don't want you to know that because once you are get to developing your psychic abilities, you have to develop your mind with it. And as you develop the two together, they develop your spiritual self. Then you become one of the motherfuckers that the threat of death don't even scare you. Because you done already seen what's on the other side of that illusion. You done peeped under that veil already. You done went through that struggle. Died, yet you're still alive. You know? So... This is the resurrection. Y'all can rise up or y'all can lay down is your option. And y'all can offer the same free opportunity to everybody else because I don't charge for the information and the research that I took years to gather. I don't want y'all to come up out from under the slumber, from the sleeping hypnotic state that we've been in that allowed us to be oppressed like this because you got to be under something because the shit is not that hard. It's only a couple motherfuckers holding the goddamn dog chain at the end of the motherfucking road. He just got a whole bunch of sled dogs and make it look like it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers running the race. He the only motherfucker in control. You take that motherfucker off the back of the sled, the sled dogs don't even know where the fuck they going. They just running. Stop shooting at the goddamn body and chop the head off the snake is what I say. Kill fucking Bill. You dig? I don't even know why they keep bullshitting and jacking off to this nigga pictures. I'm sick of seeing his motherfucking ass, if you ask me. But, you know, I ain't got the final say. All these motherfuckers need to be publicly executed. Fuck waiting, debating, negotiating, and all that shit. Publicly fry their ass for the world to see that you cannot continuously do this kind of dirt and somebody not going to step up and barbecue your ass like a roast motherfucking hot dog like they use tie and feather that motherfucker i don't give a fuck you really don't want to torture him because you don't want to keep that energy on the planet but he might be a good enough exception to the rule shit make that motherfucker part of the atmosphere send his ass up in smoke burn him at the stake like they did in the witch hunts shit burning the motherfucking women because they were scared they was gonna take their motherfucking shit back goddamn right they was gonna come and recruit their motherfucking brother and i was gonna come get their shit back Oh, well, it's too bad. Motherfucker don't like it, just don't like it. But this shit not going back. What you see, remember before the lockdown is going to look similar but different. It's going to be a drastic difference. It's going to be similar, but don't want that shit back no more. This is the part where some people are not going to even have to get up and go to work no more. This is not going to be necessary. So then the people that's been out of work trying to find a job that need to work 
because they don't have enough work credits built up in their credit history, oh, well, they'll be going in to get new jobs now. Well, paying and jobs that used to didn't pay shit, now going to be paying a motherfucker to work there, like McDonald's. They not finna just continue to give motherfuckers pennies while they make millions and millions of dollars selling you ground up babies. Fuck no. First we gonna stop them motherfuckers from selling ground up babies. Then we gonna make them pay the workers. All them motherfuckers. And if you don't want to participate, get out the business. Shit. All feeding shit should be government owned anyway for the people to be able to get the best benefit from the restaurant. If you're going to start that shit, start that shit. I mean, quit bullshitting. You know? Look, y'all don't even know McDonald's make much as Microsoft or more every year, and they don't want to pay these kids. They got managers in that bitch ain't even making $20 an hour. But they can leave McDonald's after they get a few years of experience and get fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 a year or more, 100 and some thousand for the experience in management that don't even make fucking sense it's a good training program if that's what you're using it for you know all this shit gonna have to go healthy because if they're gonna that gmo shit gonna be cut out we're not gonna be doing gmo no more they already destroyed the gmo chickens the gmo hogs the gmo pigs and the gmo crops being tilled under as we speak so we not finna be doing that poison the people shit no more Y'all going to be thinking clearer, seeing clearer, hearing clearer. Your food going to taste better. The air going to smell better. Hell, motherfuckers, farts going to be smelling like roses around this bitch. Violets and tulips and shit. And then the whole system, you're going to be able to adjust it to the lifestyle that you want to live. If you want to live like a nomad on the fat of the land, you'll be able to make your body conform to nomadic lifestyles living on the fat of the land. If you want to live like an ascended master where you can go up and down the uh, vibrational charts, you'll be able to adjust your body to become the Merkaba to do that too. But no, all this shit is requiring you to work for it. And ain't none of this shit going to be free and easy. Because if it's going to be free and easy, then everybody will be doing it. Motor vehicles are going to be switched over from gasoline as the fuel source to hydrogen. That's why the gas prices are plummeting now. They could have been using water in the same engine with a couple of alterations running the same power they run now because hydrogen is rocket fuel. This is what they don't tell you. They use heavy water in the rockets to make the hydrogen. <clears throat> where they can use water in a car and it'll run your engine the same as gasoline. It's actually a higher octane, cleaner burning fuel source. It has no toxic side effects to the fumes of hydrogen being burned in a combustion engine as gasoline does. So gasoline is like burning urine and hydrogen fuel is like burning water. You smell the difference when you boil the two pots side by side. You'll know the one that got the urine in it clearly. Trust me. That shit don't smell good hot. So this is what the difference is going to be. Then you're going to have vehicles that's going to um, be autonomous. The road systems is going to advance and upgrade. You're going to have, you, you're going to lose your bills. You're going to lose light bill, water bill, gas bill. You're going to lose that shit because the resources of the fat of the land are supposed to supply the basic needs of the people. The basic needs of the people is that shit that they call bills. Bills is your basic needs. So we're going to kill Bill. One way or the fuck another, we fucking going to kill Bill. I don't care if it's the light bill gas, one of these bills. I want to see a dead Bill somewhere laying around. Shit. You know, I don't give a fuck what the, I would not even give a fuck. Just get it over with. I don't even care. Get it over with. Because there's too many people now that's benefiting from the hysteria when they shouldn't be benefiting from it. You disengage to perform 
a task while nothing is being done. In other words, it's called in Chinese the Wu Wei. Wu Wei mean doing nothing to accomplish something. Y'all don't get that part. Y'all been in this motherfucker. I, I be telling y'all to tell people nobody y'all ain't paying no attention. This shit over with. It's a wrap. Now y'all gonna find out. Uh, now we gotta have take this shit. Take the show on the fucking road. That's what we gotta do from here. The the truth that y'all about to hear about, I don't know how, how long they gonna take to tell y'all about it. But that motherfucking true shit, that's some powerful, powerful shit. For the indigenous people of this land. And when you understand that part. It holds you to a whole different level. Of accountability. Because now. With great power comes great responsibility. In order to be able to carry that responsibility. You have to have a developed character. Your character had to be developed through the good times and the bad times. You can't just have all good times and come out and be a balanced motherfucker. You're going to be spoiled rotten. You never had no struggle. You never had to miss nobody. You never had to wonder if you're going to eat tomorrow. You never had no sense of contact or conflict or way to test your resolve to find out who and what the fuck you are. So if you don't know who and what you are, you never know what you can become. Somebody got to walk the path to show you how to do it. So, each one teach one. You know, when I looked at the struggle, I found out that white people wasn't the cause of the black people being oppressed. Because every time black people started to get free, some black people keep them in bondage. So that pissed me off because it was getting frustrating why even white people was dying trying to get black people free and some more niggas come along and chop their legs from under them. That shit started getting frustrated and redundant. So I found out it was some motherfuckers that look like us behind this shit all the time. You know? So, <clears throat> I started, you know, I grew up in all of the communities. So I can communicate with everybody from the projects to the penthouse. I done been there all the way to the big house. I done been there. I done traversed the land. I've talked to people in all walks of life, you know? I had been tested by some of the best masters that didn't know that I didn't think I knew I was being tested, you know, and they wanted to know if I was doing my work. I was doing what the fuck I supposed to be doing. If I figure like this, I don't know why the fuck I'm here, right? I'm a kid. I don't know what the fuck this life shit all about, but I see the adults around me carrying on in a certain way. And at the same time, I hear them complaining about a condition. All I hear is the complaining, but the behavior don't match the complaint. Because the behavior is compliant with those who are keeping the condition perpetual. How do you comply with your oppressor? I don't understand. So maybe I'm not seeing something that I need to look deeper. The unseen hand is a motherfucker. Can't get on it right now. I'm going to stand down on that because they got to do some homework for the brothers in the MST of A because some of them is not understanding the totality of what's taking place in the spotlight on the ones that killed Drew looking like us calling themselves Moors. They not Moors as we are Amaru that they morphed into more. And tried to marry themselves on to that as Moray. Right? Moray is not a Moru. We're not the same motherfuckers. We look the same. We got the same common ancestry. But them motherfuckers ain't like we is because they don't have the heart we have. They can't stand up and face a motherfucker face to face, so they got to do that backstabbing shit. Them the ones that the Prophet Muhammad called the Al-Kafarun, Al-Munafakun, for you Muslims out there listening, you will know what I'm talking about. He said he's the worst of the unbelievers. He knew what the fuck he was talking about. He's just wondering if you was going to know when he when it come back to you because they was going to touch it. Yeah, they was going to touch that shit. Tell you the Quran untampered with. 
How the fuck is that even possible when you don't even know where the original... Where is it at? The original Quran Muhammad wrote don't exist. What does exist is a reprint after all of the Qurans was collected and burned. All of the ones who had a dedicated memory was rounded up and killed off. So how in the fuck you got a Quran now? That's not the Quran. I don't know what the fuck that shit is y'all got. I know where a original Quran is, but I'm not telling you motherfuckers. Malachi tell y'all, Dr. York could tell y'all because he read it in its original purity. I don't read that shit, so I don't give a fuck where it said. I set the son bitch on fire myself because it it's not going to change nothing. And the thing that is not going to change is this is the end game. Checkmate motherfucker. Donald the fucking duck is tap dancing on 